All right, David Harry here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I go about putting together one of these simple offset brackets that I use for my vlogging setups. Now what this does, it allows me to locate the microphone behind the field of view of the lens or behind the plane of the lens and therefore outside the field of view that's being recorded. So you don't actually get like the dead cat or the microphone or anything dipping into the field of view either when you're vlogging or even if you're just kind of pointing the camera at something else that you're trying to record the audio from. So what I'm gonna do anyway, I'm just gonna turn my main camera onto its side and do my little rostrum shot thing and I will show you how I go about putting this together. It's really dead easy, but don't forget as well, this is just a guide and you can actually use different components to do this. Although if you like the main bracket that I'm using, there'll be a link for this in the descriptions below. Okay, so there's the ingredients then for this build. And the main thing that I'm using as far as the extension bar itself is concerned, or the cold shoe or quarter 20 extender is concerned, is this, which is a Ulanzi PT3. So let me get the box out the way. So what we get in the PT3 is this extension bar, which is literally used just for extending things off a cold shoe, and it's all quarter 20 mountable and whatnot. And also it comes with a triple cold shoe adapter itself as well. So we've got that, and then we have a male cold shoe adapter as well. So basically we have a male cold shoe side there, it's got two nuts on it, and that is all on a quarter 20 thread mount there. Just hopefully the, the camera is focusing on this stuff properly. So that's a quarter 20 thread mount, and I'll show you why that's important in a second. Then also I'm using two of these, although you may only need to use one, just depending upon how you want to build this up. And what these are are just quarter 20 to three eighths, uh, little like adapters. And I'm actually using one of these just to tighten off the actual cold shoe when it goes onto the actual bar. And then the other one is kind of there in case you need it. So first thing to do then is pick a side that you want to be the front. I'm going to choose this side. And what we do, we get one of these little adapters. Like I say, this is a quarter 20 to three eighths. Now this could be quarter 20 to anything because also using it for is to tighten this thread up here. So what we'll do, we'll just whiz that on there and then get it as tight as you can and then grip the bottom properly. So that's that little nut screw thing can't turn. And then get yourself a pair of pliers and then proper tighten it right off. What it is, you want this as tight as you can possibly get it. There we go. And the reason why we want it as tight as we can possibly get it is because we just don't want that moving anywhere. Then the next thing to do is to get the cold shoe there and let's just screw that on. And then once it kind of tightens itself up, again, just kind of give it a bit of a twist. Hold on. <sighs> Right, <laughs> I've tightened it up loads. I mean, the tighter you get these things, the better. What we want is for that plate to be square and running parallel with the, you know, with the length here of the bar, because we want it all pointing forward. So right now, that's all kind of like nicely tight and locked off. Then what we might as well do is this middle nut here, or the top nut off the cold shoe. Might as well just put up the top there and tighten it onto there as well. And then this one here, this is the one that we use for tightening when we put this into a something. Okay, now at this point, you may not need to use that one either because if you're happy to use the triple cold shoe adapter off the Ulanzi, we can just simply whiz that onto the back here. Hold on. And then we've got three cold shoes on the back here with that adapter, which means all you have to do is just pop on your mics on the back there. So Use that top cold shoe on there to put your mics onto. So that might be good for you. For me personally, I would rather avoid an extra bit of weight. And to be honest, I don't need that extra height either. So let me just take that off. And then what I've done here, and sometimes you might get these anyway with microphones, but as we can see here, the underneath for the shock mount for the road here, that isn't quarter 20, then that's it, what's that, three eighths? So that's a quarter 20 to three eighths adapter, which is one of them. And that then will allow us to connect it straight to the bar there. Hold on, let's give us a second. 
because like I say, I'm using quarter 20 all the way through, all the way through this. It's just safer to stick with one particular standard. Okay, now there we go. So that's all solid. So you've got the option to just go direct to it like I've done there with an extra quarter 20 on the mic or you just use the extender that or that three-way extender that comes with the Yolanzi or sometimes you might have the microphone that you're using might be quarter 20 straight on it all these things you can work out for yourself because there are slight variations with different microphones anyway I'll show you the end result now okay so to a quick example then and as we can see from the other camera over here, I'm using my GoPro Hero 8 Black with the offset bracket sitting on its top. And I've also got my little Rode Video Micro with its dead cat sitting on top of all that. And as we can clearly see here, there is no microphone or dead cat entering into the field of view. Now, the other thing that's worth noting here also is that the GoPro is set to super view with no stabilization or anything on. So right now we are in 16.9 at its widest field of view possible and still no microphone is entering the field of view which is awesome so anyway if you found this video helpful or entertaining anyway please give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on the bell notification icon thing and all that funky stuff and also as well if you're interested in getting one of these Ulanzi brackets that I've got if you check the descriptions below there'll be a link there to Amazon to get the Ulanzi one but like I said earlier on you can use different variations on these the, the actual concept will be identical no matter what you use anyway i'm david harry and it's time for me to get off now so thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now